Hello, uh, my name is Seth. Uh, this is my audition for your favorite YouTuber. What? Why did I just have a hard time swallowing? I did it as a bit for a second, but then it, I just actually couldn't swallow. We're gonna be watching and breaking down Cobra Kai Season 5 fight scenes. If you haven't seen it already, why? It's been like two months. Watch the show. There's like 10 episodes, they're 30 minutes each. Just watch the show. If you're gonna watch this, you might as well have watched the show already. Oh, I probably lost your vote as favorite YouTuber now, huh? Because I yelled at you. Anyway, let's start off here with Miguel versus Robbie. The heated conclusion? Question mark? That was all for Zach. Sorry, Zach. <laughs> oh, man. I hope it's really early for you. What the hell is going on out here? Mind your business, dirtbag. Hey, man, get back in your apartment. I'm just Dude, making noise. Clip. Are you kidding me, I Dad? I don't know how many times I've... Go ahead! How are you gonna blow an air horn 30 times and yell quiet? Hang on to your grudge. Fine. But at least be men about it and put your fists where your mouths are. You want us to do what? It's a good fighting tactic. Fight it out. No points, no mats. You just keep fighting until you get it all out of your systems. In a world where fight scenes are done in like the most grand of occasions and they're like on this sick platform on a mountain out and I don't know, somewhere cool. I like the concept of just like having a fight where you live, just like in your apartment complex. It's not grandiose. It's not the point. Oh wait, no, I think he said there was no points. Sorry. Let's get on with it. Mm. Parrying jabs. Uh, is that all you got? Oh, that's pretty good cells. So this is the first thing we've done on season five. Watching the season, I was so impressed with it. And here's why. Boom. That's a range you would actually kick from. That's a range where you could logically block that punch. Not if they were like right up in your grill. There's lots of stuff that you don't have to block, but they're making it look really good. I thought you guys Hard were block to the side of the head. What? That was cool. What was that? Boom. Boom. Well, front snap roundhouse kick. And then they match kicks. This one's kind of more of an outside crescent kick. This one's kind of more of a hatchet kick. And you can tell because the toes are straight up on this one and they're kind of at an angle here. The knees pointed out, but not as much as a hook kick where the foot would be completely sideways. That was my little nerdy detail. We continue. Boom. Nice tornado kick. Look at that tornado kick turning over. Wow. Ooh, nice oh, spinning wheel kick. Very cool sequence there. Sorry, I'm pausing it a lot. This axe kick, just kind of for show. Not a lot going on there, especially from that far away. As Coach Barry Robinson would say, it's controlling the space. Right? And you don't think I'm gonna hit you. I could have hit you if I wanted to. But you're also not gonna just like run in because a foot could land on top of your head. There's a wild concept. Boom, roundhouse kick, and then he uses it to go jump, spin, crescent kick. All of which were a setup for kind of like a dragon tail sweep. It's a low roundhouse kick where you put your hands on the ground. But all of that movement was just to get you doing this. And then once you're doing this, whew, the rug gets swept out from underneath you. A lot of trading going on now. Little Anthony Pettis style roundhouse kick. That's cool. Hey, hey, stairwell's out of bounds. Wish the stairwell would have been out of bounds in a couple seasons ago, huh? All right, that's it. Lights over. It's a shame he doesn't have, um, I don't know, some sort of instrument that's designed to get people's attention. All right, guys, that's enough. <laughs> the stairs, the stairs. He's gonna have again. I have to imagine that if I'm Johnny Lawrence here, I'm not gonna go up the stairs. I feel like the nature of fights and stuff like that is if they're gonna go wrong, it happens whenever. I'm standing underneath the thing like, boys, don't fall. I will catch you if need be, but please just stay up there. I would come up, but I don't trust you to not fall down because of your past. I'm here to catch you, but please let's calm down. Which punch was the one that was like, okay, that's enough. Why'd you hold back? I didn't get into karate to hurt people. I got into karate for two reasons, to not hurt people and for the babes. And I'm all out of babes. I did it to be badass and find balance. I hate to say it, but like the nature of saying that is kind of not what you were hoping for. Yeah, I understand that. Next scene, dojo final fight. Okay, so we got a lot going on here. We got some throws. Boom, boom, boom. I've always wondered what it would be like to be in these like 
chaos fights. Cause you have to be super on edge. You can't just like be super present on one person or you're gonna get kicked in the back of the head by some teenager's flying foot. You gotta be real in the zone about this kind of thing. Keep your head on a swivel. Now is not the time for a conversation. Go kick some, but, oh, fair enough. Hey, that's how I did this. <laughs> Crazy. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use my hotspot. Am I crazy? Are these teenagers like 32? I think this guy's actual age is actually like 32. He looks young. This guy doesn't look so young. Sorry, man. Yeah, like this is what I'm talking about. This dude's got a mortgage somewhere, 100%. This dude drops his kid off at middle school. This dude books his own doctor's appointments. That's how you know you're old. Kyle's too stupid to ever learn his lesson. Boom. What's the best way to defuse a situation? Call the guy who's trying to fight you stupid. Although I guess he wasn't trying to defuse it. He was just gonna beat him up. Let's watch some fights. Boom, nice hook kick there. Really good spinning back kick. Ooh, that was a really good jump knee. I think that might have been the actor. Regardless, very cool. Boom, boom, boom. A lot of trading in this one space. Boom, nice headbutt. Nice tornado kick. Same kick as earlier, old dragon tail. Oh, this thing. They called this thing like the silver bullet or something. They explained it as like this super hyper effective punch that takes all the, it's just knocking the wind out of somebody. The point of it is just like punching somebody in the solar plexus. This isn't new. This isn't like uncommon knowledge. Don't get me wrong. Silver bullet, incredibly cool name. But when I heard it, I was like, oh, they're gonna like break out some cool karate stuff. And they're like, punch him in the middle. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Boom, getting bullied. We've talked about this before. We don't want to get surrounded. We want to keep them all in front of us, not beside us. Really nice front kick. Boom, another knee. Kyler's gotten a lot better these days too. Boom, look at that flying side kick. That was cool. Oh, nice knee. Look at this, look at everybody using angles to dodge stuff rather than just being too far away. I love it, it looks, look at him, look at him, look at, shoot, how do you pronounce his name, Gianni? Gianni? Gianni Descent, Gianni De, Gianni De, 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 something cool. Um, great roundhouse kick. Watching some of the like Cobra Kai behind the scenes stuff, the actor Gianni Desenzo here has like one of the more enjoyable personalities I feel like, and they're all likable. But this guy, I don't know why he cracks me up. What kind of Wi-Fi do these people have that it's at one percent? Oh, they're on the hotspot. That's right. Boom! Both of them fighting people. Unnecessary tablet throw and catch. There, <laughs> nothing was gonna happen. Very cool. Gosh, I love watching how good these guys are getting too. What's so good about it too, is the more that you guys trust this show and watch this show, the more time they're gonna be able to put into it, which means the better they're gonna get too. So like, we are actually watching these people's martial arts journey right now. All right, here we go. Chosen versus Terry Silver. I like that rhythm. Not the most realistic, but I'd imagine the reasoning behind it is you don't really see that in a fight. But if you were to be able to get somebody to do that rhythm while you were fighting them, get them to buy into a certain pace and timing, then you can break the rhythm and hit them with something sneaky. Did they do that here? Not really, they just kind of waited until somebody fell out of the rhythm. But that's a tactic, that's a real thing. I thought you'd at least prove more of a chance in LaRusso. Hey man. Have you not seen the show? All you did was knock him down. Everybody gets back up at least once. Nobody just stays down from the first back kick. Yeah, there's a good sense. Thank you. You think you can hurt me? I'm running on whiskey and white claw, baby. There's the white claw scene in this, which absolutely cracked me up. I don't know why that part got me so good. Some of Johnny's lines are some of my favorite. This is a good sell here. Watch this. I like that. That was cool. Oh, pressure point. Here we go. Is he gonna knock the wind out of him? A lot of respect going on here to just let him walk over to the sword and grab it. Time to find out what you really made of. Whiskey and White Claw. 
Some of you may know this from my video I did with Jesse Encamp. These are uh, Sai, which are essentially the Okinawan version of batons that police officers use. They're used to like grip arms and to smash people with. They're not pointy, which I think they even address in the show, which is pretty cool. They're meant for hard, blunt objects and kind of like a little bit of trapping that goes with it. I think I would rather have the sword still just because of the range and like you can block stuff, but even if you block it like this, it just has to go a little bit either way and you're getting your arm torn up. He's got the sword pointed right at him. If he really wanted to, he could just lunge one time. I know it's picky, I know it would make it way less cool, but him walking down a sword with his hands down, he does it for like 15 seconds. All right, let's see this Kabuto. That would be a good time if you have a taser to just like hop out of the water and just like put it in the pool. Just <laughs> a lot of blocking. Let's see if we get some trapping. A little bit of blocking. Look, a little bit of catching there. Not necessarily designed to catch the sword, but you can. Ugh. Ah, that's a flesh wound. Sick shot. Hey, look, it's Tyron Woodley. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Steven Thompson and Tyron Woodley were in a lot of these scenes. Super cool. Hey, if you're looking for anybody else, I think I might know a guy with two hands who would like to do it. Boom, look, more blocks, more blocks, more traps. Oh, another flesh wound. It's okay, just get back up. Just get back up. Oh, it's a good thing he turned it before. Oh, it didn't matter anyway. Oh, I thought that. Oh, that's a cool use of it. To go this way. Hmm. As a sweep? That's cool. I guess if it's sharpened, then this, holding it in front of somebody's face makes sense. But it's not a pokey. It's a smashy. Oh! Ooh, that's a little deep. Oh, it might not be as much of a flesh wound. All right, and this last one we're going to take a look at. This is Mr. Daniel LaRusso you versus Terry Silver. You're telling me that after that great big long fight scene we just watched, he still got his necklace on? What is this made out of? We're all with you, Daniel. Do what you have to do. We wouldn't, like, fight him or anything because we just watched him kill the dude with a sword, but, uh, we'll be right back here, watching. Me and you, right here, right now. Winner gets the children. Not like that. A control of the children. Control of how the children use their bodies to fight, to fight people. Control of... Where the children take martial arts classes, I want to be very specific about that. First I took care of Chosen, now you. He maybe should have chosen another weapon. <laughs> want to take a second to acknowledge this very common street fight tactic. It's called the look away. If a dude looks away, picks his hand up, and he's like, gosh, can you believe this guy? He's probably gonna throw this too. That's a cool addition that they did there. That's a nice bit of choreography. You can see it coming, but it's something that people do. Boom. Rule number one. A man can't stand, he can't fight. Boom. Oh, he's making the special fist. I don't know how I feel about this. It's cool. Don't get me wrong. It is very like karate. You know what? I give it a karate pass. I give it a karate pass. It's, it looks like it's, it's uh, looks kind of like the crane kick. I'll give it a pass. He goes for the low high punch. I think Samantha did this last season's tournament. Let me see it in like Gekisai. Designed to go to the body and to the head in my opinion. Boom, bang. Cool. I like a little bit of karate that we throw in there. A little traditional stuff to go against the guy who um, runs a McDojo. Finish him. He's obviously going to try and hit you with something sneaky. I like the homage, but the crane kick is like a deceptive thing. He's seen the first movie. There's no way he hasn't seen the first movie, right? He knows what's coming from here. I guess he was kind of turned around. Anyway, that was uh, Cobra Kai season five fight scenes. I'm so impressed with the actors. They've all gotten so much better. Terry Silver is like still like a, like his wheel kicks, the spinning stuff. Whoa, so good. That's the next move. They should have done that. 